We are doing Goosebumps The Haunted Mask today. And not only, I mean, this is such a special book. We read this at Camp Soul, which if you know, you know the album artwork. And I actually left this Polaroid in here that somebody took from Camp Soul and gave to us. And so I kind of just put it in this book because, I don't know, it's just a special memory from that event. And not only did we read this at Camp Soul, but one of the nights we were chilling at the hotel and we pulled up on YouTube the episode, like the live action of this, and me and DC watched it. And it just made, it was just magical for me, like, to be able to, like, introduce you into that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, for you to get, like, so excited when you see this artwork now. We were at Camp Zool merch booth, and they had a Goosebumps-themed shirt, and I was like, you know, and then, like, now you know, like, you can look at it, and you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you look so tired. I am. We're both, like, kind of sick and got sinus stuff going on. So, the haunted mask is, how ugly is Carly Beth's Halloween mask? It's so ugly that almost it almost scared her little brother to death. So terrifying that even her friends are totally freaked out by it. It's the best Halloween mask ever. It's everything Carly Beth hoped it would be and more. But maybe too much more because Halloween is almost over and Carly Beth is still wearing that mask. Five out of five. Yeah, I'd say five out of five. Five sure. out of five. It is like really good. Um, Carly Beth is kind of like a scaredy cat, really timid girl. Easy to scare. Constantly gets picked on, even by her friends, her brother. And so she decides she's going to get revenge, which is like every kid's dream, to get revenge on somebody. And she finds this mask shop, and she wants like the best, scariest mask, has no luck. And this one like local shop, she kind of sneaks into the back where he makes masks. Which is kind of cool, too, because, like, Zool makes theirs. Mm -hmm. And she finds this one and begs a guy to let her buy it. And he's, like, resistant. And he finally, like, caves in. And it starts off where she has trouble removing the mask. You kind of see some things, like her behavior changing, her aggression, her voice. And it just gets worse as the book goes on. And later you find out. And I don't really want to spoil this part in case someone does decide to read it. But you do find out why it's haunted. And it's a really good read. Yeah. I think the concept behind it of the mask having its own personality and bringing in some of your darker feelings out mm -hmm. is also something that I think a lot of people kind of relate to as well. And you see it a lot in, you know, especially us, the type of music that we listen to. It's kind of like that darkness coming out. It's interesting you say that because it's not really clear in the this book in particular. Is the haunted mask possessed? Or is it bringing out what's already in Carla Beth? That's kind of the vibe that I picked up from it. Yeah. That was my interpretation. Is It wasn't so much that the mask was its own entity. It was that the mask brought out your entity. Like the movie The Mask. Mm, when, you put, when you put that mask on, it brought in... Like, the inner you. And I like, I've always kind of liked that concept. Yeah, five out of five. It was really good. It's um, set up around Halloween time and trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. And it just brings back so many memories. The way that the author describes, like, the leaves crunching and the shadows and the colors of fall. To me, it made me feel like I was a little kid out at like 9.30 at night when it's dark out. It's like it's almost, you know, or 10 o'clock at night and you have to be home by 11, you know. And you're just like, it was spooky. The trees were swaying. It was cold breeze on a Halloween night. Yeah. And you're out with your friends just mayhem doing, what you know, shenanigans. It brought me back to that when I read this book. I feel like a kid again. Yeah. Getting up to trouble. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I would say for anybody who hasn't read it or heard the story or anything like that, I wouldn't go watch the show first. I would actually read yes. the book first. because the, Every show, read the book first. Yeah. Every show. 
because there's different elements that they add to it and to me there's just things that aren't as good in the show that are as or that are better in the book because it's more open to your interpretation i always recommend reading the book first because with goosebumps in your mind you'll have a vision of what the house looks like or the characters or whatever and so it's more fun to read it first and then watch the show and not let your imagination get tainted by the show first. Yeah. Because it will alter how you read. Yeah, I agree. Do you know my favorite part of this book was when he was like, where she put the mask on and it was like doing evil things like playing pranks on people? Yeah. Like, what was like, it went up to the doorbell and one of the guys didn't want to, didn't have candy or something? Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God, it was so good. Like, every time, I'm like, what is Carla Beth going to get into this time? Every interaction she had after the mask had kind of taken hold of her was like, it was unpredictable. You didn't know yeah. what well, kind of trouble she was going to get into. Yeah, and, that, and jumping back to that interpretation and the concept of it letting out the inner you is every time she put it on, mm -hmm. it was harder to take off. Like, more of you came out the more that you wore that mask. Yeah, and she scared a couple kids, and they were crying and stuff, and it was like, you know, sad. And the mom got upset. That one mom got upset because she scared her son a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the mask itself, it is not a mask, from what I understand. It kind of had, to, like, stuck to her face. So I'm assuming, like, when she talked and stuff, the mask moved. Yeah. And her voice changed. So I would assume, like, that would be pretty scary for a kid. Yeah. Like, it became part of her face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. I really liked it. I'm going to go ahead and link at the end of this video our Camp Zool vlog. And I'm going to link another random Goosebumps video. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you get a chance, you need to read this book. It's definitely one of my favorites. Five out of five, for sure. Very. That's pretty good if we both rate it that. Yeah. Without even thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time. And remember, don't wear your mask for too long. That's right.